Hello people, what's up? It's been a minute, but we're back. We're back and better, okay? <laughs> How's everyone? How's you guys dealing with lockdown? And all that stuff. I hope everyone is keeping safe and staying safe. So guys, I've been getting questions about this hair, okay? On my, and on, um, I've been getting comments on the video I did, I posted, that's my second video and also on Instagram just because I talk about this hair a lot so I thought to myself instead of replying one by one let me just make a video so you guys can see for yourself how the hair has been and all that stuff and I'll give you guys an update so I hope you guys enjoy this video please make sure you subscribe, you share, you comment and you like and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one um i've had this hair for seven months now this hair has been amazing so far like can you guys see this hair obviously i have to straighten it which i'm going to do now this hair is still very much thick to be honest the bundles are still very very full the frontal as well is still full obviously i didn't pluck this side too much because i wanted my parting at this side but um yeah i can literally switch patterns to be honest with you like i do middle middle part sometimes i do side part i can do this part as well if i wanted to but yeah um the shedding is still minimal if you guys want a full full in-depth um specs and all that stuff up at the hair i'm going to link the two month review i did up here so you guys can watch and see how and um the full details on the hair the frontal is not bald at all it's still very much thick Wait, let me let me show you guys with me very well. Like if I part it, the the one the, the frontal is still very much thick. So yeah. And the the frontal took bleach properly, like I didn't seem this lace or anything like that. I just put my foundation on it and that's just it. So I will be styling this hair. I want to do like a 90s side swoop inspired kind of thing because yeah so that's why i got my part in here i have to define it a little bit more i am um, just going to quickly guys am i the only one that hates absolutely hates it's just too long for me to straighten hair like even my own hair like that's why i barely barely straighten my hair because it's just long for my life like i just jump everything to be honest i just take a chunk of hair and i start straightening it but track by track oh my god like it's just like, uh, but yeah i'm using my baby lace straight now if it's not too straight because i can't be bothered to be honest with you i'm not going anywhere i just want to show you guys how the hair is and that's it and yeah as i said i'm using my baby lace straight oh my nails are my nails are really really <sighs> don't judge me everyone's nose is looking higgy haga oh so, yeah yeah, um, I'm using my baby list straightener. So the way I take care of the hair is I take a, a big bucket here, I put hot water inside it, not boiling water but you know hot water, sure. so I put hot water in it and I put uh, my shampoo in it as well and I dip the hair inside just to like to lift the, the residue on the lace and on the hair as well all the serums and all that stuff even though i don't use a lot of stuff in my hair that's one thing that i just use um heat protectant and serum and the serum as well is heat protectant and i use mousse on my edges and obviously the um got to be that i use because i don't have board hold so i don't use any of those so um, that's literally hair, what i use on the hair so i don't use a lot of product on the hair so it just doesn't weigh it down and all that stuff so by you dipping the hair in hot water and shampoo, it's like you're lifting, it's helping to lift all the residue and all the, the crust on the hair and all that stuff. 
so that's what i literally do and i leave it for like 30 minutes after 30 minutes like, uh, the toothbrush we use for our edges or even the edge brush or whatever and i basically just use it to scrub on the got to be glue that's on the lace just to take out the glue on the lace frontal and i use my purple shampoo to wash the frontal i use a regular shampoo to wash the cap inside because me i put a lot of oil on my natural hair so the cap soaks up the oil kind of thing the way i condition the hair is i put the conditioner i apply the conditioner on the hair and i put boiling water obviously boiling water put it in the in the bowl or in the bucket or whatever and you apply condition on the hair put the hair in plastic bag put the plastic bag in the bucket with the boiling water so it could steam the steam could actually help the conditioning of the hair and all that stuff so i just let it edge out i don't think i've ever ever blow dried a week in my life to be honest i just because um straining hair is long for me so i just don't blow dry either <laughs> This is the first texture I've tried from them. So I don't know what the other textures would be like. And this hair curls as well. Like when I curled it, if you guys watched my first video, that was my intro video. That's the, this is the hair I was wearing then. So I curled, I kind of like curled it well, roughly, or well, curled it. <laughs> I hate like spending, doing all these things on hair to be honest with you, but I like the outcome and the results. It's just that like I don't spend too much time on it. As you guys can see, the hair is still thick. So yeah, I'm going to totally recommend this hair. I'm just waiting for Miss Lil Rona to leave and me try like other um, um, type of hair from them or textures, type of hair, textures from them. I want to try like a, a kinky hair from them. This hair is lush. Okay, any questions you guys have, make sure you leave your questions down below. I always reply anyways. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this video. Everyone stay safe and stay at home. And I'll see you guys in my next one.